Hello, it's Rachel. Today's project is an art journal page and I'm working in my Prima mixed media book. I'm starting by using a baby wipe technique to apply two different colours of Dilutions paint. The colours I've selected here are Calypso Teal and Fresh Lime. I've selected a text background stamp to add to my page. Unfortunately, I don't know the manufacturer of this one, but I'm stamping it randomly using Archive Link in Plum. I'm also going to add some stenciling to my background. For this I've chosen a Tim Holtz stencil and I'm applying gesso through this using a piece of Ranger cut and dry foam. I decided to darken some areas of the page, so I'm using again a baby wipe with some of the Dilutions paint in Calypso Teal. To add some dimension to my page, I'm choosing to use some scrunched up tissue paper that I'm adding to my page using some golden soft gel medium. After the tissue paper has dried, I select a golden fluid acrylic to paint over it. This colour is quinacridone crimson. For my text I've chosen a stamp set by All Night Media and I've stamped this out in advance just to make sure that it would fit onto my page. I'm using Archive Link in Jet Black to stamp with. Because it makes a page more cohesive to have the same colour in more than one place, I'm again using the Black Archive link and I'm adding some splatters from a stamp set by Creative Journey.
Next, I decide to add some metallic waxes to the raised areas of the tissue paper. And for this, I've chosen two different waxes. This one is by Prima, it is the rose gold. And a second one is by Treasure Gold, and that is called White Fire. To darken the colour of my black stampin' ink, I'm using a Posca paint pen in black to outline all of my lettering. To darken the edges of the page, I've chosen some Fluid Acrylic by Golden. This is in Carbon Black and I'm applying it to the edge of my page using a piece of Ranger Cut and Dry Foam. This is a piece of acetate and I'm using this as a guide so that I can sponge around my lettering with some black archival ink and you will see the effect that this has, it really makes the text stand out and adds some further contrast to the page. That was the last step in today's project. I hope you enjoyed watching. This was a very fun one as always to make and I really enjoy using tissue paper for texture rather than the usual texture paste which I tend to go for. If you did enjoy it then please feel free to leave me your comments and click the like button. If you're new to my channel I would love you to join our subscribers and I will see you again next time.